hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go Hey, it's the Empire, Geo Basket Empire, back for boxing. Now, man, Joseph Parker beats Daniel, uh, Junior Fa in a unanimous decision. A lot of people talk about, talked about how that fight was boring and how, you know, these fires were laying on top of each other. But this was just two aggressive fires fighting each other. And, you know, Joseph Parker is not exactly known for being an inside fighter, no, nor is Junior Fa. So them fighting in the inside, their punches are too wide. So they ended up clinching each other. Um, now that being said, man, I think jo Justin Parker looked pretty good in the fight, man. He was landing clean blows. Um, definitely, if this came a boxing match, Junior Fall would have got stopped. Um, but Junior Fall was able to keep the fight in the inside. But Justin Parker was still better in the inside as well, man. This is just one of those fights where it was just a lot of clinching going on and inside fighting going on. Some people don't like it. But that's what happens when you get two guys who are not naturally inside fighters fighting in the inside. <laughs> that's what just happens, man. Um, understand that, you know, when a ref breaks up a fight and they're in the inside and they break the clinch up, and you know, one of the two fighters throw a power shot, you're gonna be right in the clinch again. That's basically what's happening. It was this power shot thrown, and then them getting in a clinch and break breaking each other from the ref breaking it, and the same thing happening rep in repetition. But there were some clean punches land, and I thought the better, cleaner punches were land from Joseph Parker. Now, man, that being said, man, um, understand that Joseph Parker has been looking good ever since uh, his loss to uh, Dillian White. Besides this fight with Junior Fall, uh, Joseph Parker has been knocking out everyone, right? He knocked out Alexander Flores, Alex Lipe, and Shondell Toros with Winters. So the guy has been in a knockout streak. This is the first fight that was actually uh, a known competitive fight because uh, Junior Fall is an elite level fighter. And... Um, Junior Fall and Joseph Parker have history together. So, you know, of course it's not going to be an exciting fight because these fighters are two elite level fighters. Sometimes when you get two boxers who are so elite, it becomes a chess match. And some people don't like the slow pacing of the chess match. You know, sometimes it's not, uh, you know, speed chess or, 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 you know, a quick fighting, quick action, and it's more of a chess match. This is one of those fights. But besides this fight, like I said, Joseph Parker was in a knockout streak. So we're gonna see where Joseph Parker goes from here, man. I thought he looked good last night. Um, you know, it's just a lot of fights for him. Um, people are talking about him versus Derek Jezora. Another fight was supposed to happen at some point, um, but Joseph Parker, he had some <laughs> bites to, consin uh, to uh, contend to. He got bit by some kind of creature. They said it was a spider. They said it was a spider. I know, I know. But I think that was some humor from uh, Joseph Parker, but that fight didn't happen for some reason. But there's no reason why a fight can't happen now with Joseph Parker and Derek Chisora. I think there's a lot of fights with Joseph Parker. Um, so yeah, let me, let, me know, let me know who you guys think he should fight next. I think that Joseph Parker, uh, being the former WBO champion, maybe he should fight someone like uh, uh, Alexander Usyk. That'd be a great fight too. There's just a lot of big fights for Joseph Parker. He's already fought in the elite level in sport of boxing, and he's not really afraid to fight anyone. He's already fought in the Dillian Whites. He's always fought the Anthony Joshua's, and we're gonna see what's next for his career. But I thought he looked, I thought he looked good against Jun Junior Fa. Um, it was two elite level fighters, and people expected, you know, fireworks. And sometimes that just doesn't happen. Sometimes that doesn't happen. But um, yeah, man, let me know you guys feel about it though. Um, Junior Fa, where will you go from here? We don't know, man. Um, once you get a loss in your career, there is no more soft touches. There's no more soft touches for you. There's just elite level fighters from here on out. So anyway, let me know you guys feel about it though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace.